It's the build you guys have been asking for. You guys wanted to see a Helios uh, Legendary set build, and I brought it. And let me tell you, it stacks up bodies real, real nice. I'm Darkshard the YouTube Assassin, and let's check out my Helios build, version 1. So here we go with a build that a lot of you were asking for. Um, I use the Helio set for this, and it's basically just a heavy warrior damage build. Now, it uses a couple of pieces from the Fate of Atlantis DLC. It also uses a couple of pieces that you find in the uh, blacksmiths area, the legendary pieces that, that we found. Um, I'll show you what's going on. In this build, again, I use the uh, Blade of Yumminess. I kind of like its kind of really silly, uh, just legendary perk where you have plus 250% all damage, but you cannot uh, use abilities. Now, I really enjoy that. It's quite a challenge, but the thing is, at the same time, you can use passive abilities. Uh, a couple of people have been saying, oh, you can use passive. Yes, you can. You cannot use overpower abilities. You can't use any of the uh, like flare abilities like hero strike or anything like that sparta kick but anything passive like the charged uh, strike um, the assassinate from behind and stuff like that you can still use those but whether you want to add those to your build or not that's entirely up to you okay I left the 10% all damage on this blade because I feel like damage is key here especially since you don't have a lot of um <clears throat> excuse me you don't have a, a lot of abilities to go with you don't have a lot of options it's kill or be killed with this build uh, I did at one point try putting on my other favorite perk where you have the hundred percent damage but it's 25 percent health and it did work for a little while but that was like a little bit of overkill it, it was hard to like stay alive in certain situations uh, much more difficult than normal and I'll show you why when we uh, get to it now as far as what I put on as the second weapon is the curse spear of Achilles now the reason I did this was for the warrior damage for the damage with spears and I like the little perk the 10% damage per enemy engaged up to 50% that actually to me seems like I'll be getting more damage because I'm gonna be going in and I'm gonna be roughing up a bunch of people all at once I also added plus 20% health and armor just so that we're not taking as brutal a beating as we would. Now, uh, the Fotinos, that is the legendary bow that actually comes with the set if you bought the entire set. This is another really wild kind of thing that they've got here. Uh, plus 25% warrior damage, plus 50% crit damage, which I liked. 600% uh, adrenaline on parry, but the user catches on fire. That is kind of cool if you are going to use this build and you're going to remove the sort of yumminess and you're going to do something else like you're going to go with a blade that uh uses the 100 percent damage but 25 percent um health then this is really gonna just be absolutely wild because what happens is that you you do gain adrenaline on parry but you do catch fire which is just going to be crazy um, also, I put here uh, the Radiant Leaves Crown, which comes with the set, obviously. 25% warrior damage, 20% crit chance while low health, 99% uh, sunburn resistance, and I put, it, it comes with the entire set, 200% damage while on fire. So now, if you look at this, we're really not paying attention to the adrenaline or anything like that, but the thing is that the moment you parry, you will catch on fire. Okay, so that's what this is basically going to do. So now, the 99% sunburn resistance, we actually get that off of the sun hat that is legendary that we got from the blacksmiths. This actually reduces actual burning. Nothing to do with like sunburns or anything like that, but it kind of stalls the elemental damage that you're going to take. But it will increase a lot of damage that you're going to dish out 
because you're going to have 200% damage while you're on fire, which is going to be just crazy. Now we go over to the Bracers, more warrior damage, elemental resistance, which is big, because, I mean, fire is nothing to play with, especially if you catch everything on fire, all right? 50% crit damage. Now, you could rely on just fire sources that are around you or fire arrows or anything like that. And, uh, you know, like you, you don't need uh, any anything like this where you, you have the bow where you have to parry. But for some reason, parrying with the bow makes it a lot easier than trying to, like, catch a fire source. So that's why we went with that. Now... I put the crit damage here because, again, we're going for big numbers here. More crit damage on this one. It has more elemental resistance, more warrior damage, which is going to be huge. We go over to the Radiant Belt. Has more warrior damage. Has 20% damage with overpower abilities. Being that we have the Sword of Yumminess, you're not going to have overpower abilities, so that's going to be kind of useless. But it doesn't matter because we're going to put either crit chance on it or... You could also put something else that will like increase either it'll decrease the the uh, fire damage to yourself like elemental resistance, or you could even put something else on it like uh, besides crit chance, you could put uh, the all damage if you're able to. So just make sure that you know the set kind of works for you. All right, 25% uh, warrior damage on the radiant greaves, 20% elemental resistance. Again, that's needed. I added more warrior damage to this. Okay, now this you got to understand that when I do these builds, it's kind of like a blueprint. Okay, you don't have to use exactly what I use, I'm just giving you a couple of ideas. I'm just throwing a couple of things out there. Usually, whenever I do builds like this, a lot of you are like so quick and just absolutely clever, and you come out with your own things that you want to add to it, or other things that you would add to it, other things that might make it a little more special to you, or you even put some of these things on Epic Gear, which may be better. So this is why, uh, you know, like I put this all together. It's basically a blueprint. It's not a, a end-all, say-all to when, you know, like you find sets like these. In fact, I'm going to tweak it again at some point, and I might do another video where I show you something with it. And then uh, we actually have the, the horse skin that came with it, all right? That's just, you know, to, to get it going like that. And you can see it just looks pretty cool. Um, I just like the, the glowing halo in the back there and like her eyes are just flaring like the sun. That's awesome. It's actually pretty cool looking. Now, as far as abilities go, like I said, passive abilities will work. All right. The overpower abilities will not. I've tried it. I don't know why people are saying that they're able to use it. I can't use it. I don't know how you guys are using it. So it's just like really weird. But uh, things like this, like the uh, charged heavy attack will work. Uh, critical assassination, you'll sneak up behind them. That'll work. Stealth master will work. Uh, Shadow assassin will work where you just sneak right up on behind them. Things like this will not work. Hero strike, uh, you know, uh, a lot of the uh, bow tricks, that these are not going to work. All right. So there's really no point in, in doing some of these things, adding some of them to your uh, arsenal, okay? What you might want to do is go straight to the mastery levels, and as far as, like, what we have on the hunter, you're going to want to use, let's see, uh, damage with spears, because we have a spear. If the spear doesn't work for you, you want another weapon, whatever works for you. If you've got something that has a little more warrior damage or fire resistance or anything like that, Go for it. But I put damage with spears. I had crit chance and crit damage. All right. Then uh, we go over to warrior. Now, again, this is something I don't have uh, completely filled. This is my OP character. I don't usually use the OP character when I'm, you know, just playing the game regularly. But it, it's just nice to, like, have all these abilities so that I could just, like, show you guys right off the bat what's going on without having to, like, waste any of my Drachme resetting everything which is just it's a hassle anyway we go down to uh health restored on where is it here we go health restored on successful parry because you will be parrying a lot as soon as you parry you're going to catch fire all right uh, another thing i like damage after parry you might want to use that because obviously after you parry you're going to be powered up a little bit Warrior damage, obviously, because this is a warrior build. 
we went with health because health is going to be critical. You're going to be doing like a lot of uh, burning here and there, so you're going to need health. Total armor I also added just so that you're not squishy, especially if you're going to use the other type of build where you're going to have the 100% damage but 25% health. Okay, then I also added, and I think that this is kind of a good idea, damage per enemy engaged up to 25%. With this kind of build, you tend to like run into tons and tons of enemies all at once, and you're able to just beat them all down. And, I mean, it, like it's nothing. It's actually like really amazing. And then I also added damage dealt restored as health, because again, you're going to be burning, and that's just not going to be fun. All right, you're going you're gonna to want to get some kind of health. Now, Assassin, uh, damage whenever time is slowed down, if you actually successfully dodge... Time will still slow down. That's one of the uh, passive abilities you can add, which is, like, good. Uh, damage with swords. Obviously, being that I have the Sword of Yumminess, I put damage with swords. I would put damage with daggers if I went with the daggers, like I usually do, and have the 25% uh, health but 100% damage. And then elemental resistance is a must with this thing because, like I said, you are going to be on fire, man. You're going to be burning a lot, and you really don't want to just burn up uh, immediately. You know, you, you really don't want that. Um, so those would be the abilities that you work with. And then, like I said, you could add some of the passive abilities, but uh, everything like this, rush assassination, things like that, they are not going to work. All right, the overpower techniques will not work either. Here I am pushing the buttons for overpowers. It's not happening. But as you can see, the heavy attack is working. And the charged heavy is working. So anyway, we're going to go into my favorite fort and just start murdering people. So it's pretty high there. There we go, parried and it was successful. We're going to let them all come and attack us. Let's get a whole bunch of people going together. Oh, uh, by the way, it also lowers nation's power, people. Come and attack me. Here we go, parry. Nope, missed. <laughs> parry too early. There we go, now I'm on fire. And as you saw, I did decent damage while I was on fire. And if you look at my health, I'm not really losing a lot of health. That's our fire resistance, that's the attacks turning into health stuff like that so you're doing decent damage nobody has really become a problem there we go back on fire Wow, kill the mercenary with one hit. With one parry, actually. It's a fun build. It actually is pretty quick, the way you move and whatnot. All your attacks are pretty quick. There I am, dodging again. For extra damage. By the way, I don't know if you know, you could actually parry arrow attacks as well. I was too early for that one. There we go. See? I don't know if anybody <laughs> knew that. I'm pretty sure you guys knew that. I keep parrying too early. That's the problem. Poked you in the face, buddy. All right, where's everybody else who uh, they called? Come on. I 
Anybody else coming? That's everybody? That's the entire fortress? I thought they lit the uh, brazier. Oh, well. Looks like they didn't have enough people. All right, well, that's that. That's actually, you know, like the entire build. As you can see, it really wasn't any trouble. I really, during the uh, battle, um, you just got to be able to parry. I kind of messed up on a couple of parries, which uh, you saw. And uh, you also saw that you could parry arrows, which is very important. You just got to have the right timing. All right. Now, real quick, as these guys are coming, I did not show you guys the stats. So here's our unique modifiers, which are okay. Now, warrior damage, plus 515%. That's incredible. Um, you could also add the damage against Spartans and Athenians if that's your thing. It would not hurt the build, all right? Damage against animals really doesn't matter. The headshots doesn't matter. Um, yeah, all these other damages, they really don't matter because you're really just going to be going in there and just chopping everybody to bits. Damage with swords plus 60%, which really helped us out. Same with damage with spears. Everything else is 30%. Uh, critical hit chance, 40%. Critical hit chance while full health, 50 uh, While low health, 70 And then critical hit damage, 275%. While full health and also while low health, 325%. So those are some big numbers that you're playing with as you're like going around. Fire damage, 60%, which really doesn't matter because you're actually, you know, you're, you're catching yourself on fire basically. But it is nice to know that like whatever fire damage you do, it actually is going to affect them. Health bonus, 40%. Armor bonus, 170%. Both really good. Uh, elemental resistance 75 percent so that basically helps us so that way we're not burning to death as we're playing this the adrenaline really does not matter because adrenaline uh you know like we're not using any of those attacks so we're just basically like going in there we're messing up the whole area let's see how efficient this guy is look at me parrying too early he didn't even do anything now he's just playing a so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And as always, thank you for watching.